fight will be ridiculous. These are two of the most entertaining fighters on the roster in the lightweight division, and they are both hungry to become a UFC lightweight champion. Dan Mergliata has declared the winner by TKO, and now the winner of the BMF belt. I was born and I was bred and I was raised to do this, and I will do it till the wheels fall off. This is like a fighter's fight, you know? This is the hardcore fans are gonna tune in for this. So I know the BMF title isn't, isn't the undisputed title, but it's still fun for me. It makes sense with, with who I'm fighting and our history in the sport. So let's go. I have no feelings coming in here and it scares me because I just don't understand why I can't be nervous or scared, but it's just, I just love it way too much. I've been working since I was four for challenges like this. This guy's a dog, and uh, you know, I know, I know, I'm gonna have to be perfect. I know that um, there's no need for animosity. We're two of the two of the best, most violent athletes in the sport. Uh, we both love what we do. Uh, we both love the carnage, and we're both content with um, with what we're about to put ourselves through. It's all preparation. Uh, he's super confident. I'm super confident coming off this last win. And again, this car is stacked. It's gonna be an electric night. And this feels amazing. I feel like I'm in a dream right now. I just beat one of the pound for pound best in the world. To be the best, you gotta beat the best. I can finish him again, 100%. I can, I can finish anybody in the world at 155 pounds. I just have to be on, in the right mental space, ready to perform, you know? It's 25 minutes to get it done, and July 29th, bro, I'm gonna be brilliant in there, man, I'm telling you. That, that fight was five years ago. That, that is not even a factor. It won't be a factor July 29th. I'm not the same guy, he's not the same guy. Uh, again, there's, I need to be more perfect than him. I need to make less mistakes than him. I need to capitalize on the mistakes that he makes. Of course, you're not perfect in a fight, but ultimately it's, um, it's, it's up to me to, to take advantage of the mistakes that he makes and make him make mistakes. And, um, that's the name of this game, you know, high level fights, two guys with the skills that we possess, you know, you have to be perfect. Jack, man, this is a piece of the world title. This is what I want. I want to unify this belt with the best. Right now, I'm the champ. I'll never quit in here, I'll die in here. This is what I do, I live for this. Every day, all day. This is who I am, I'm a fighter at heart. I'll never quit in here. You cannot break me, I promise you. Drop me all you want. You better put me to sleep, or else I'm coming for your head, coming for your legs, coming for your body. Who is next? As we come along and as I get put in the position to fight for it, you know, you really understand how, how prestigious this, this championship is and what it actually means. And with it comes, you know, a shot at the undisputed title. Um, and uh, it's, a, it's a beautiful belt. It's going to look great next to our uh, to one of our UFC belts. Dustin! He's definitely added some footwork to his, to his game. Um, he's using his jab a lot more. He's moving laterally a lot more. He's not standing directly in front of somebody covering up high like he was doing before. This is talking about his last fight, you know? But I still see that same dog every time he goes out. That's why he's winning these bonuses, like you say. He's going out there to leave it all on the line, finish you or get finished every time out. That's why he's getting these bonuses. But he has added a lot of new wrinkles to his game with his footwork, his defense, his jab setting his combinations up, you know, a lot of things. Free Herd Dean has called a stop to this contest at 33 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner, by T.K.O. Justin!